Hey guys, welcome back to our video series on the RoboKids Arduino Servo Controller Board. Today we are going to see the further features in the software. So now let's connect the robot and it's going to automatically connect the correct port. There we go. And now as we have seen last time, we can add different moves. So I'm just going to add a move here, uh, second move here oops i'm gonna take it down here just like that add a move okay so now uh, let us explore the settings tab here as you can see uh, there are different uh, options available here we'll just uh, look what each one of them can do so first the very important thing is about the center setting in the servo so whenever we are assembling the robot we want it to be at a cent uh, to a normal position okay so Okay, I'm just gonna go back, set center to both of them, all of them here. And now I'm going to go to the settings tab again. So this center position, uh, I can change the center position for any of the servos. Right now we have selected servo one. We can select one to 18 servos in this. So I'm selecting servo one. I am shifting the position as you can see. And then I'm setting this to the center position. So what it's going to do is now this is going to be the center position for the servo. If I move, if I make any move, now it goes from here, I add a move here and then when I go center, it goes back to the new center position. Okay, this is important because when we are making any robots and we want to define a zero position or a center position for a servo motor, uh, it would be very difficult to manually open the robot, remove the servo and then physically change a 15 or 20 degree of the servo. So that's where the center uh, setting uh, is required. If you want to change that, you just reset the center, it goes back to the original position and then you can reset the center again. Okay. Another important feature is the setting the maximum and the minimum values. So if there is a uh, if there is a robot where you need to you know know that the robot should not exceed this particular value the motion of that particular servo should not exceed the particular value you can set the maximum and minimum here okay so now i'm just going to close this setting and now what you can see is the base is going to rotate just between these two uh, positions it's never going to exceed the position what we are going to do now is check the other function which is the reverse function so i'm going to just click this here so what this does is the motor moves in the opposite direction than what it was moving previously so if i am taking this towards a lower value it's going anti-clockwise and if i'm going towards a higher value it's going clockwise which is the other way around if it i if i don't click the reverse direction this is important because sometimes the mo we want the uh, directions to be re reversed after assembling the robot so this is how you can do it okay another important function is the group function uh, what sometimes we want that uh, the motor should work in tandem like two motors or three motors or four motors so there is this feature which groups the motors so I'm taking servo 1 and here instead of none I'm going to select group 1 then I'm going to go to servo 2 and I'm going to select group 1 again. So now what this does is both these servos are grouped together. Okay. Now let us operate one servo and then we'll see how the second servo is affected. As you can see, both servos are operating together. Okay. I'm just operating one servo and both servos are operating together. This is useful when you make a humanoid robot or a walking robot. You would want uh, the angle of the shoulder and the forearm to remain constant. And so you would uh, use this feature in the uh, walking robots. Okay, another feature is this uh, set current value to the home position. What this means is if I am, if I set this value to the home position and I close this, when I connect the robot and the software gets connected, the first thing it's going to do is go to that particular position. Yep, there you see it. So that's the home position for the robot whenever it gets connected to the software. 
So uh, we have these moves. Now we can make eight different functions. There are predefined functions in the software, which would help us to uh, make uh, the programming easier in Arduino. So let's see, I'm going to add a function here. And before the function, I'm going to add a pause. Uh, here I'm going to add a second function. Da, da, da. Added a function, add a pause. Now let us add a third function. Uh, add a function and add a pause. Now I'm going to go to the first line and I'm going to run sequence. Okay, so as it encounters the pause, it's going to stop. I need to press control and the upward key for the program to proceed further. Then for the second function, I need to press the control down button for the program to proceed further. And then I need to press the control and the left button for the program to proceed further. So now what we have seen is if, if I press any key, it's going to go to that particular function. If I press control and upward key, it's going to run the particular function. If I press the control and down key, it's going to come to that particular function. Okay, so now how this is going to help us is uh, once I generate an Arduino code, so I'm just going to click here, generate Arduino code. It will ask me to disconnect. I'm going to say yes. And Arduino code is generated. I'll have to open the Arduino IDE. There we go. And here I'm going to paste our code. So here it is. So as you can see, this these functions are generated based on the moves that we have made. So these are three independent functions which have been generated, which can be used to call the function as per the program. So if we have made a humanoid robot, you can actually program it to move forward in one function and you can call that function in the Arduino code. Okay guys, this is it for this video. Uh, we'll be discussing further features in the next video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.